one minute. Let's go. Let, 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 just a minute. Let's go to uh, Shahzad Punawala. He's been waiting patiently. Uh, he is a spokesperson of the uh, BJP and uh, another of those sharp new spokespersons that the BJP has. Uh, as active on social media as he is uh, on TV, will quickly, of course, put out a statement. I'm sure on social media about how he's got the anchors on the on the hop. But Shahzad Punawala, congratulations! Big day, day to smile. What is your biggest takeaway? What do you think today's verdict has done? What do you, as a young BJP new recruit, believe that the BJP has achieved? You were in the Congress earlier. What's the big difference? Uh, Rajdeep, thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, Rajdeep, the biggest takeaway I can see from these five state elections is the fact that in four places where the BJP had got an opportunity to serve the people, they have been repeated on the back of a pro-incumbency vote. And that too in states which traditionally don't usually uh, give a pro-incumbency vote. Look, for instance, Uttarakhand has had a history of, repeat, of changing governments every five years. Uttar Pradesh hadn't repeated a CM since last 37 years. Goa, we were in uh, service of the people for the last years and we are heading towards forming a government there. Sir, in Goa, Uttar, uh, sir with due regard, Mr. Punawala, Goa should not be equated with the others. You are only winning because the opposition vote is badly fragmented. Actually, your vote share is not going up and there is strong anti incumbency enough evidence. But go ahead. You are the number one party. Today, you have no, every uh, reason to celebrate. I, I, would, I would disagree to the extent that in Goa, we were not the single largest party in 2017. Today, by uh, any standard, we are the single largest party in Good Goa. Good point. We are, uh, we are now, uh, we have, and look at what has happened to uh, Congress party, Rajdeep. The Congress party, the CM in Punjab has lost from both seats. Their state president has lost. Priyanka Vadra invested so much time in Uttar Pradesh and uh, the Congress party invested so much resources and time in Punjab. What has come about that? The Congress party has reduced its vote share in Goa. The Congress party's CM face, or potential CM face, has lost in Uttarakhand. And at the back of that, and the Congress has not had a single government repeated in a big state since 2011 in Assam, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Whereas the BJP, wherever it gets a chance to govern, because of the policies and the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the center, the pro-poor policies, a list, a laundry list of these uh, policies and schemes, and the implementation effectively done by the CMs, in the case of Uttar Pradesh Yogi Adityanath Ji, in the case of Uttarakhand Dami Ji, because of their double-engine performance, the BJP has now become a party of performance, and this is a vote for performance. In Punjab, it is an anti-incumbency vote, and therefore you are seeing the Ahmadmi Party come to power there. No problem with that. But you cannot discount the fact that in these four states it is a mm -hmm. pro-incumbency vote a vote that traditionally was not a pro-incumbency vote it is a new class of labartis and also a new class of people that reward performers and Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi is the biggest brand ambassador of performance today that is the biggest takeaway from these five state elections because even in Punjab we have increased our seat share and we have now become a Vistarwadi party in Punjab and a Vapsi Wali party in the remaining four states. Fair enough. And I, and, and I think, you know, in that sense, this is an election where the BJP can justly claim there is pro-incumbency. Uttar 